Fort Lee is a borough at the eastern border of Bergen County, New Jersey, United States, in the New York City metropolitan area, situated atop the Hudson Palisades. As of the 2010 United States Census, the borough's population was 35,345, reflecting a decline of 116 0.3% from the 35,461 counted in the 2000 Census, which had in turn increased by 3,464 10.8% from the 31,997 counted in the 1990 census. The borough is the western terminus of the George Washington Bridge and is located across the Hudson River from the Manhattan Borough of New York City. Named for the site of an early American Revolutionary War military encampment, it later became the birthplace of the American film industry. Geography. <laughs> <laughs> According to the United States Census Bureau, the borough had a total area of 2.888 square miles, 7.478 square kilometers, including 2.541 square miles, 6.581 square kilometers of land and 0.347 square miles, 0.898 square kilometers of water, 12.00% the borough is situated atop the escarpment of the Hudson Palisades on the peninsula between the Hackensack and Hudson Rivers. The borough is bisected by the confluence of roads at GWB Plaza leading to the George Washington Bridge. Unincorporated communities, localities and place names located partially or completely within the borough include Coitsville, Palisade and Taylorville. The borough borders Cliffside Park, Edgewater, Englewood, Englewood Cliffs, Leonia, Palisades Park, Ridgefield, and the Washington Heights neighborhood of Upper Manhattan. Given its evolving cosmopolitan ambiance and adjacent proximity to Manhattan, Fort Lee is one of northern New Jersey's Hudson waterfront communities that has been called New York City's sixth borough. History Colonial era Fort Lee is named for General Charles Lee after George Washington and his troops had camped at Mount Constitution overlooking Burdett's Landing, in defense of New York City. It was during Washington's retreat in November 1776 beginning along a road which is now Main Street that Thomas Paine composed his pamphlet, The American Crisis, which began with the recognized phrase, these are the times that try men's souls." These events are recalled at Monument Park and Fort Lee Historic Park. <laughs> Formation Fort Lee was formed by an act of the New Jersey Legislature on March 29, 1904, from the remaining portions of Ridgefield Township. With the creation of Fort Lee, Ridgefield Township became defunct and was dissolved as of March 29, 1904. The Fort Lee Police Department was formed under Borough Ordinance on August 9, 1904, and originally consisted of six marshals. <laughs> America's first motion picture industry The history of cinema in the United States can trace its roots to the East Coast where, at one time, Fort Lee was the motion picture capital of America. The industry got its start at the end of the 19th century with the construction of Thomas Edison's Black Maria, the first motion picture studio in West Orange, New Jersey. 
New Jersey offered land at costs considerably less than New York City, and the cities and towns on the North River, Hudson River and Hudson Palisades benefited greatly as a result of the phenomenal growth of the film industry at the turn of the 20th century. Filmmaking began attracting both capital and an innovative workforce, and when the Callum Company began using Fort Lee in 1907 as a location for filming in the area, other filmmakers quickly followed. In 1909, a forerunner of Universal Studios, the Champion Film Company, built the first studio. They were quickly followed by others who either built new studios or who leased facilities in Fort Lee. In the 1910s and 1920s, film companies such as the Independent Moving Pictures Company, Peerless Studios, the Solax Company, Eclair Studios, Goldwyn Picture Corporation, American Malise Star Films, World Film Company, Biograph Studios, Fox Film Corporation, Pathé Frères, Metro Pictures Corporation, Victor Film Company, and Selznick Pictures Corporation were all making pictures in Fort Lee. Such notables as Mary Pickford got their start at Biograph Studios, with the offshoot businesses that sprang up to service the film studios. For nearly two decades, Fort Lee experienced unrivaled prosperity. However, just as the development of Fort Lee production facilities were gaining strength, Nestor Studios of Bayonne, New Jersey, built the first studio in Hollywood in 1911. Nestor Studios, owned by David and William Horsley, later merged with Universal Studios, and William Horsley's other company, Hollywood Film Laboratory, is now the oldest existing company in Hollywood, now called the Hollywood Digital Laboratory. California's more hospitable and cost-effective climate led to the eventual shift of virtually all filmmaking to the West Coast by the 1930s. At the time, Thomas Edison owned almost all the patents relevant to motion picture production. Movie producers on the East Coast acting independently of Edison's Motion Picture Patents Company were often sued or enjoined by Edison and his agents, while movie makers working on the West Coast could work independently of Edison's control, in part due to the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals which was headquartered in San Francisco and covered most of Southern California being well known not to enforce patents claims, television and film in New Jersey remains an important industry. Since 2000, the Fort Lee Film Commission has been charged with celebrating the history of film in Fort Lee, as well as attracting film and television production companies to the borough. <laughs> Birthplace of subliminal sharings In 1957, market researcher James Vickery claimed that quickly flashing messages on a movie screen, in Fort Lee, had influenced people to purchase more food and drinks. Vickery coined the term subliminal advertising and formed the Subliminal Projection Company based on a six-week test. Vickery claimed that during the presentation of the movie Picnic he used a tachistoscope to project the words drink Coca-Cola", and «hungry», «eat popcorn» for one three-thousandth of a second at five-second intervals. Vickery asserted that during the test, sales of popcorn and Coke in that New Jersey theater increased 57.8% and 18.1% respectively. In 1962, Vickery admitted to lying about the experiment and falsifying the results, the story itself being a marketing ploy. An identical experiment conducted by Henry Ling showed no increase in cola or popcorn sales. The claim that the small cinema handled 45,699 visitors in six weeks has led people to believe that Vickery actually did not conduct his experiment at all. <laughs> George Washington Bridge Lane closure scandal 
The Fort Lee Lane closure scandal, also known as Bridgegate, was a political scandal concerning the actions taken by the staff of New Jersey Governor Chris Christie and his Port Authority appointees to create a traffic jam in Fort Lee when dedicated toll lanes for one of the Fort Lee entrances to the upper level on the George Washington Bridge were reduced from 3 to 1 from September 9, 2013, to September 13, 2013. Three members of the Christie administration were convicted on federal conspiracy charges for their roles in the lane closures. One of the reasons suggested for these actions was to punish Fort Lee Mayor Mark Sokolik, a Democrat, for not supporting the Republican Chris Christie in the 2013 New Jersey gubernatorial election. Another theory was that Christie or his aide sought to punish New Jersey Senate Majority Leader, Loretta Weinberg, who represented the New Jersey district containing Fort Lee, as retribution for the Democrats' blocking of Christie's reappointment of a New Jersey Supreme Court justice. Christie withdrew his appointee consideration and delivered a speech referring to New Jersey Senate Democrats as animals. Just one day before emails were sent by Christie's aides to the Port Authority requesting the lane closures. Topic: <laughs> Demographics. At the turn of the 21st century, Fort Lee saw a large Korean migration which has converted much of the town into a large Koreatown, in that many traditional Korean stores and restaurants may be seen in Fort Lee, and the Hangul letters of the Korean alphabet are as common as signs in English in parts of the downtown area. This Koreatown is separate from the similar Korean enclave in the adjacent town of Palisades Park. The rapid increase of the Korean population has seen the decline of many other immigrant communities once centered in Fort Lee, notably the Greek and Italian communities, once quite large but now all but extinct. A sizable Russian immigrant community has also sprung up in recent years. In March 2011 about 2,500 Japanese Americans were living in Edgewater and Fort Lee, the largest concentration of Japanese Americans in New Jersey. There were 1,119 Fort Lee residents who filed claims to recover lost money from the Madoff investment scandal, the most from any zip code. Topic. 2010 census As of the 2010 United States Census, there were 35,345 people, 16,371 households, and 9,364 families residing in the borough. The population density was 13,910.9 per square miles, 5,371.0 per square kilometers. There were 17,818 housing units at an average density of 7,012.7 per square miles, 2,707.6 per square kilometers. The racial makeup of the borough was 53.49% 18,905 white, 2.75% 973 black or African American, 0.14% 50 Native American, 38.44% 13,587 Asian, 0.02% 7 Pacific Islander, 3.08% 1090 from other races and 2.07% 733 from two or more races Hispanic or Latino of any race were 10.97% 3877 of the population 
Korean Americans accounted for 23.5% of the 2010 population. There were 16,371 households, out of which 21.8% had children under the age of 18 living with them, 45.6% were married couples living together, 8.5% had a female householder with no husband present, and 42.8% were non families, 38.4% percent of all households were made up of individuals, and 17.0% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.16 and the average family size was 2.89. Same-sex couples headed 127 households in 2010, an increase from the 65 counted in 2000. In the borough, the population was spread out with 17.0% under the age of 18, 5.3% from 18 to 24, 28.1% from 25 to 44, 27.7% from 45 to 64, and 21.8% who were 65 years of age or older. The median age was 44.7 years. For every 100 females there were 86.9 males. For every 100 females ages 18 and older there were 83.8 males. The Census Bureau's 2006 to 2010 American Community Survey showed that in 2010 inflation adjusted dollars, median household income was $72,341 with a margin of error of plus or minus $4,502 and the median family income was $86,489 dollars plus or minus eleven thousand nine hundred seventy seven dollars males had a median income of sixty six thousand fifteen dollars plus or minus three thousand five hundred twenty six dollars versus fifty five thousand five hundred eleven dollars plus or minus three thousand four hundred four dollars for females the per capita income for the borough was $44,996, plus or minus $2,903. About 5.5% of families and 7.7% of the population were below the poverty line, including 7.1% of those under age 18 and 9.0% of those age 65 or over. Topic: 2000 Census. As of the 2000 United States Census, there were 35,461 people, 16,544 households, and 9,396 families residing in the borough. The population density was 14,001.7 people per square mile, 5,411.7 per square kilometers. There were 17,446 housing units at an average density of 6,888.5 per square miles, 2,662.4 per square kilometers. The racial makeup of the borough was 62.75% white, 31.43% Asian, 1.73% African American, 0.07% Native American, 0.06% Pacific Islander, 1.69% from other races, and 2.26% from two or more races. Hispanic or Latino of any race were 7.87% of the population. There were 16,544 households, out of which 22.6% had children under the age of 18 living with them, 46.7% were married couples living together, 7.4% had a female householder with no husband present, and 43.2% were non families. 39 0.0% of all households were made up of individuals and 15.2% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. 
The average household size was 2.14 and the average family size was 2.88. In the borough, the age distribution of the population shows 17.5% under the age of 18, 5.1% from 18 to 24, 32.6% from 25 to 44, 24.7% from 45 to 64, and 20.2% who were 60. 65 years of age or older. The median age was 42 years. For every 100 females, there were 87.7 males. For every 100 females age 18 and over, there were 85.1 males. The median income for a household in the borough was $58,161, and the median income for a family was $72,140. Males had a median income of $54,730 versus $41,783 for females. The per capita income for the borough was $37,899. About 5.7% of families and 7.9% of the population were below the poverty line, including 10.9% of those under age 18 and 7.9% of those age 65 or over. As of the 2000 census, 17.18% of Fort Lee's residents identified themselves as being of Korean ancestry, which was the fifth highest in the United States and third highest of any municipality in New Jersey, behind neighboring Palisades Park and Leonia for all places with 1,000 or more residents identifying their ancestry. In the same census, 5.56% of Fort Lee's residents identified themselves as being of Chinese ancestry, and 6.09% of Fort Lee's residents identified themselves as being of Japanese ancestry, the highest of any municipality in New Jersey for all places with 1,000 or more residents identifying their ancestry. In the 2010 census, 23.5% of residents, 8,318 individuals, identified themselves as being of Korean ancestry. 7.5%, 2,653, as Chinese, and 3.7%, 1,302, as Japanese. Topic: Arts and Culture. Since 2007, the Hudson Shakespeare Company has brought their Shakespeare in the Park touring shows to Fort Lee in Shakespeare Tuesdays. The group now performs regularly at Monument Park, 1588 Palisade Avenue, next to the Fort Lee Museum, with two Tuesday shows per month for each month of the summer. The festival also tours similar dates in Hackensack. topic government topic local government Fort Lee is governed under the borough form of New Jersey municipal government The government consists of a mayor and a borough council comprising six council members, with all positions elected at large on a partisan basis as part of the November general election. A mayor is elected directly by the voters to a four-year term of office. The borough council consists of six members elected to serve three-year terms on a staggered basis, with two seats coming up for election each year in a three-year cycle. The borough form of government used by Fort Lee, the most common system used in the state, is a «weak mayor, strong council» government in which council members act as the legislative body with the mayor presiding at meetings and voting only in the event of a tie. The mayor can veto ordinances subject to an override by a two-thirds majority vote of the council. 
The mayor makes committee and liaison assignments for council members, and most appointments are made by the mayor with the advice and consent of the council. As of 2018, the mayor of Fort Lee is Democrat Mark Sokolik, whose term of office ends December 31, 2019. Members of the Borough Council are Council President Isla Kosofsky, D, 2019, Harvey Somer, D, 2018, Joseph L. Servieri Jr., D, 2018, Armand Pohan, D, 2020, Michael Sargenti, D, 2020, and Peter J. Sue, D, 2019. Topic Federal, state and county representation Fort Lee is located in the 9th Congressional District and is part of New Jersey's 37th State Legislative District Prior to the 2011 reapportionment following the 2010 census, Fort Lee had been in the 38th State Legislative District, for the 116th United States Congress. New Jersey's 9th Congressional District is represented by Bill Pascrell. D. Patterson. New Jersey is represented in the United States Senate by Democrats Cory Booker, Newark, term ends 2021, and Bob Menendez, Paramus, term ends 2025. For the 2018-2019 session, Senate General Assembly, the 37th legislative district of the New Jersey Legislature is represented in the State Senate by Loretta Weinberg, D. Teaneck, and in the General Assembly by Valerie Huddle, D. Englewood and Gordon M. Johnson D. Englewood. The Governor of New Jersey is Phil Murphy D. Middletown Township. The Lieutenant Governor of New Jersey is Sheila Oliver D. East Orange. .Bergen County is governed by a directly elected county executive, with legislative functions performed by a seven-member board of chosen freeholders. The freeholders are elected at large in partisan elections on a staggered basis, with two or three seats coming up for election each year. A chairman, vice chairman, and chairman pro tempore are selected from among its seven members at a reorganization meeting held each January. As of 2018, the county executive is Democratic James J. Tedesco III of Paramus, whose term of office ends December 31, 2018. Bergen County's freeholders are Freeholder Chairman Thomas J. Sullivan, Jr., D. Montvale, term as freeholder ends 2019, term as freeholder chairman ends 2018. Freeholder Vice Chairwoman Germaine M. Ortiz, D. Emerson, term as freeholder ends 2019, term as freeholder Vice Chairwoman ends 2018. Freeholder Chairman Pro Tempore Mary J. Amoroso, D. Mawa, term as freeholder ends 2019, term as freeholder Chairman Pro Tempore ends 2018. David L. Gans, D. Fair Lawn, 2020. Steve Tonelli, D. North Arlington, 2018. Joan Voss, D. Fort Lee, 2020. And Tracy Silna Zur, D. Franklin Lakes, 2018. Bergen County's constitutional officials are County Clerk John S. Hogan, D. Northvale, 2021. Sheriff Michael Sedino, D. Emerson, 2019, and Surrogate Michael R. Dressler, D. Creskill, 2021. Topic: Politics. As of March 23, 2011, there were a total of 18,382 registered voters in Fort Lee, of which 7,537 .0 versus 31.7% countywide were registered as Democrats, 2,487 .5 versus 21.1% were registered as Republicans and 8,350 
45.4% versus 47.1% were registered as unaffiliated. There were eight voters registered to other parties. Among the borough's 2010 census population, 52.0% versus 57.1% in Bergen County were registered to vote, including 62.6% .6 of those ages 18 and over versus 73.7% .7 countywide. In the 2012 presidential election, Democrat Barack Obama received 7,891 votes, 60.9% versus 54.8% countywide, ahead of Republican Mitt Romney with 4,700. 137 votes, 36.6% .6 versus 43.5%, and other candidates with 104 votes, 0.8% versus 0.9%. Among the 12,950 ballots cast by the borough's 19,738 registered voters, for a turnout of 65.6% .6 versus 70.4% in Bergen County. In the 2008 presidential election, Democrat Barack Obama received 8,624 votes, 61.0% versus 53.9% countywide, ahead of Republican John McCain with 5,236 votes, 37.0% versus 44.5%, and other candidates with 114 votes, 0.8% versus 0.8%. Among the 14,144 ballots cast by the borough's 19,352 registered voters, for a turnout of 73.1% versus 76.8% in Bergen County. In the 2004 presidential election, Democrat John Kerry received 8,367 votes, 61.1% versus 51.7% countywide, ahead of Republican George W. Bush with 5,161 votes, 37.7% versus 47.2%, and other candidates with 100 votes, 0.7% versus 0.7%. Among the 13,692 ballots cast by the borough's 18,294 registered voters, for a turnout of 74.8% versus 76.9% in the whole county. In the 2013 gubernatorial election, Republican Chris Christie received 55.3% of the vote, 3,735 cast, ahead of Democrat Barbara. Barbara Buono with 43.5%, 2,941 votes, and other candidates with 1.2%, 78 votes. Among the 6,992 ballots cast by the borough's 18,356 registered voters, 238 ballots were spoiled, for a turnout of 38.1%. In the 2009 gubernatorial election, Democrat John Corzine received 5,187 ballots cast, 58.8% versus 48.0% countywide, ahead of Republican Chris Christie with 3,191 votes, 36.2% versus 45.8%, Independent Chris Daggett with 287 votes, 3.3% versus 4.7% and other candidates with 38 votes, 0.4% versus 0.5%. Among the 8,817 ballots cast by the borough's 18,854 registered voters, yielding a 46.8% turnout versus 50.0% in the county. Topic. Emergency services and public safety Topic Police Topic Emergency medical services 
The Fort Lee Volunteer Ambulance Corps, founded in 1971, provides emergency medical services to the borough of Fort Lee, the George Washington Bridge, and the Palisades Interstate Parkway. One of the largest EMS agencies in the surrounding area, the Fort Lee Volunteer Ambulance Corps operates a fleet of four medium-duty ambulances, one first responder vehicle, and two command vehicles from its headquarters on the corner of Main Street and Anderson Avenue. In 2011, the agency purchased a new state-of-the-art ambulance, designated Florida One, in order to begin retiring some of its aging ambulances. The agency plans to purchase a second ambulance sometime in 2013. With approximately 50 active members, the Corps operates 24 hours a day on weekends and from 7 p.m. to 6 a.m. on weekdays, with paid borough employees staffing the ambulances during the day on weekdays. The Fort Lee Volunteer Ambulance Corps responds to approximately 3,400 emergency medical calls annually. The Corps is a member agency of the East Bergen Ambulance Association with a standing mutual aid agreement with surrounding East Bergen boroughs. <laughs> Fire Department Fort Lee is protected around the clock by the volunteer firefighters of the Fort Lee Fire Department, which was founded in 1888 when the borough was still a part of Ridgefield Township and operates out of four fire stations. The Fort Lee Fire Department operates a fire apparatus fleet of six engines, two trucks, one rescue, one squad, two support services units, two support vans, a mobile air unit, four command vehicles and six fire prevention units. The Fort Lee Fire Department's volunteer fire companies respond to, on average, approximately 1,800 emergency calls annually. Topic: Education. The Fort Lee School District serves public school students in pre-kindergarten through 12th grade. As of the 2014-15 school year, the district's six schools had an enrollment of 3,893 students and 285.3 classroom teachers on an FTE basis for a student-teacher ratio of 13.61. Schools in the district with 2014-15 enrollment data from the National Center for Education Statistics are School 1 664 students in grades K6 School 2 470 Prec 6 School 3 534 K6 School 4 551 K6 Lewis F Cole Middle School 533 7 to 8 and Fort Lee High School 983 9 to 12 during the 2010-11 school year school number 3 was awarded the National Blue Ribbon School Award of Excellence by the United States Department of Education the highest award an American school can receive one of only 10 schools statewide to be honored the school was one of three in Bergen County honored that year. Public school students from the borough, and all of Bergen County, are eligible to attend the secondary education programs offered by the Bergen County Technical Schools, which include the Bergen County Academies in Hackensack, and the Bergen Tech Campus in Teterboro or Paramus. The district offers programs on a shared time or full-time basis, with admission based on a selective application process and tuition covered by the student's home school district. Topic private schools Private schools in the area include Christ the Teacher, PK-8, 
314 students, First Step Day Care Center, PK, 101 students, Fort Lee Education Center, 7 to 12, 78 students, Fort Lee Montessori Preschool, PK, 49 students, Fort Lee Youth Center Playgroup, PK, 30 students, Futures Best Nursery Academy, PK, 98 students, Greenhouse Preschool and Kindergarten, PKK, 125 students, Happy Kids Preschool, PK, 75 students, Hooks Lane School, PK, 54 students, Itsy Bitsy Early Learning Center, PK, 60 students, Genesis Preschool and Academy PK, K6, 83 students, Palisades Preschool, PK, 108 students, Rainbow School DC, PK, 88 students, and Small World Montessori School, PK, 51 students. Christ the Teacher Interparochial School operates under the supervision of the Roman Catholic Archdiocese of Newark. Weekend supplementary education The Japanese Weekend School of New Jersey, New Ya Ji Bu Shi Shou Yi Shao, a Japanese supplementary educational school, holds its classes at Paramus Catholic High School in Paramus while its offices are in Fort Lee. It is one of the two weekend Japanese school systems operated by the Japanese Educational Institute of New York (JEI). New Yoku Ri Ben Ren Jiao Yu Shen Yi Wei New Yoku Nihonjin Kyoiku Shingi Kai, a non-profit organization which also operates two Japanese day schools in the New York City area. Topic. Economy Companies based in Fort Lee include Bank of New Jersey and the American Bank Note Company. Transportation Roads and highways As of May 2010, the borough had a total of 51.12 miles (82.27 kilometers) of roadways, of which 35.44 miles (57.04 kilometers) were maintained by the municipality, 6.20 miles (9.98 kilometers) by Bergen County, and 6.22 miles (10.01 kilometers) by the New Jersey Department. Department of Transportation and 3.26 miles (5.25 kilometers) by the Palisades Interstate Park Commission, the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey, and the New Jersey Turnpike Authority. Fort Lee is served by the Palisades Interstate Parkway, Route 4, Route 5, Route 67, Interstate 95, the northern terminus of the New Jersey Turnpike, U.S. Route 9W, U.S. Route 1 to 9, U.S. US Route 46, and County Route 505. The George Washington Bridge signed as I-95, US 1-9, US 46, the world's busiest motor vehicle bridge, crosses the Hudson River from Fort Lee to the Washington Heights neighborhood of Upper Manhattan in New York City. Many of these roads converge at GWB Plaza, a busy crossroads at the northern end of the borough. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Public transportation. Fort Lee is served by NJ Transit buses 154, 156, 158 and 159 to the Port Authority Bus Terminal in Midtown Manhattan, the 171, 175, 178, 181, 182, 186 and 188 lines to the George Washington Bridge Bus Terminal, and local service on the 751 
51, 753, 755 and 756. Rockland coaches provide service along Route 9W on the 9T and 9AT bus lines and on the 14ET to the Port Authority bus terminal in Midtown Manhattan and on the 9, 9A to the George Washington Bridge bus terminal. Saddle River Tours, Ameribus provides service to the George Washington Bridge bus station on Route 11C, the Fort Lee Parking Authority issues and controls parking passes, meter fees, and provides shuttles and non-emergency transportation. Mark Macri, a former law partner of Mayor Mark Sokolik, serves as commissioner of the Fort Lee Parking Authority. As of 2016, two Taiwanese airlines, China Airlines and Eva Air, provides private bus services to and from John F. Kennedy International Airport in New York City for customers based in New Jersey. These bus services stop in Fort Lee. Climate The climate in this area is characterized by hot, humid summers and generally mild to cool winters. According to the Köppen climate classification system, Fort Lee has a humid subtropical climate, abbreviated CFA, on climate maps. Topic in media The borough was mentioned in Weekend Update segments involving fictional consumer affairs reporter Roseanne Rosanadana, played by Gilda Radner, who almost always began reading letters by saying, a Mr. Richard Fetter from Fort Lee, New Jersey, writes in and says, Fetter was the brother-in-law of Saturday Night Live writer and segment co-creator Alan Zweibel and an actual Fort Lee resident until he moved to West Nyack. New York in 1981. In the 1984 film, The Adventures of Buckaroo Banzai Across the Eighth Dimension, the character played by Jeff Goldblum Dr. Sidney Zwibble, New Jersey introduces himself as being from Fort Lee, earning him the nickname New Jersey. In Desperately Seeking Susan, the main character Roberta played by Rosanna Arquette is from Fort Lee. A key thematic element of the film is the contrast between Roberta's life in New Jersey and her desire to experience Susan's lifestyle in New York City. Martin Scorsese directed several scenes of Goodfellas in Fort Lee. Chabad of Fort Lee, a synagogue, was used as the filming location for the Queens, New York City residents of Detective Elliot Stabler on Law and Order, Special Victims Unit. In late March 2011, a group of teenagers reported that they had been detained by the Fort Lee Police Department who left them in a police van parked for 14 hours overnight at headquarters. The detainees, who said that they had no food, water or access to bathrooms during that time, were released after passers-by heard their screams. In December 2013, $120,000 was awarded to each of three of the teens as settlement of a lawsuit that alleged that they had been unlawfully detained and that police officers had used racial epithets. On March 2, 2012, the show Morning Joe on MSNBC aired live from Fort Lee High School. Joe Scarborough and Mika Brzezinski joined Governor Chris Christie, Rev. Al Sharpton, Michelle Ree, Harold Ford Jr., Howard Dean, Interim Superintendent of Fort Lee Schools Stephen Ingravale, and other invited guests to discuss New Jersey's education reform. Topic Notable people People who were born in, residents of, or otherwise closely associated with Fort Lee include, Vito Albanese born 1918, politician who represented Bergen County in the New Jersey General Assembly from 1966 to 1968. Albert Anastasia 1902 Mafia boss. Mickey Appleman, born 1946, professional poker player.
Alan Arkush, born 1948, film director and television producer known for Rock and Roll High School and the NBC series Heroes. Miri Ben Ari, born 1978, Israeli American violinist. Barbara Bennett, 1906 to 1959, silent screen actress and literary representative. Constance Bennett, 1904 to 1965, stage and film actress. Joan Bennett, 1910 to 1990, stage and film actress. Mike Berniker, 1935 to 2008, record producer. Balfour Brickner, 1926 to 2005, Rabbi Emeritus of the Stephen Wise Free Synagogue in Manhattan. Dr. Joyce Brothers, 1927 to 2013, psychologist, television personality. Charlie Callis, 1924 to 2011, comedian and actor. Cameron, born 1976, rapper. Jonathan Chebin, born 1974, reality television star and entrepreneur, noted for his recurring role on the show Keeping Up with the Kardashians and its spin-offs. Jay Chiat, 1931 to 2002, advertising agency executive. Liz Clomen, born 1963, Fox Business Network anchor. Haskell Cohen, 1914 to 2000, public relations director of National Basketball Association from 1950 to 1969, known as creator of NBA All-Star Game. Emile Cole, 1857 to 1938, French caricaturist, cartoonist, and animator. Celia Cruz, 1925 to 2003, Cuban-born salsa singer. Morton Downey Jr., 1932 to 2001, singer, songwriter, radio and TV personality. Host Bill Evans, 1929 to 1980, jazz pianist and composer. Phil Foster, 1913 to 1985, comedian and actor, played Frank DeFazio in Laverne and Shirley. Buddy Hackett, 1924 to 2003, comedian and actor. Jim Hunt, ice hockey former head coach and current president of the New Jersey Hitmen. Arthur Imperatori Sr., born 1925, businessman best known as being the founder and president of the NY Waterway. Jay Z, born 1969, rapper. Ron Johnson, born 1947, former NFL running back for the Cleveland Browns and New York Giants. Ali Katami, born 1953, former Iranian presidential chief of staff. Randy Klein, born 1949, musician, composer, pianist, author and educator. Sam Levine, born 1982, actor on Freaks and Geeks. Nathaniel Lubell, 1916 to 2006, Olympic fencer who competed for the United States in foil at the 1948 Summer Olympics in London, the 1952 Summer Olympics in Helsinki, and the 1956 Summer Olympics in Melbourne. Eddie Mannix, 1891 to 1963, film studio executive at Metro Goldwyn Mayer. Willard Marshall, 1921 to 2000, former MLB right fielder who played for the New York Giants, Boston Braves, Cincinnati Reds, and Chicago White Sox. D. Bennett Mazur, c. 1925 to 1994, member of the New Jersey General Assembly. Pierre Maguire, born 1961, ice hockey analyst and former NHL coach and scout. Aline Brosh McKenna, born 1967, screenwriter who wrote the scripts for The Devil Wears Prada and 27 Dresses. Bill O'Reilly, born 1949, television host, author, syndicated columnist and political commentator, host of The O'Reilly Factor on Fox News Channel. 
John Orsino, 1938 to 2016, Major League Baseball catcher who played for the San Francisco Giants, 1961-1962, Baltimore Orioles, 1963 to 1965, and Washington Senators, 1966-1967. Christopher Porino, born 1967, lawyer who became served as New Jersey Attorney General from 2016 to 2018. George Price, 1901 to 1995, cartoonist best known for his work for The New Yorker. Richard Rhinus, recording industry executive, co-owner of Drive Through Records. Freddie Roman, born 1937, comedian, New York Friars Club notable. Joe Rosario, born 1959, actor, writer, director. Murray Sabrin, born 1946, college professor and Libertarian Party, Republican Party politician. August Semendinger, 1820–1885, photographic inventor. Eva Shane, c. 1918 to 1999, boxing judge, one of the first female judges in New York, first woman to judge a heavyweight championship bout, 1977 fight between Muhammad Ali and Ernie Shavers. Anton Sikoruladze, born 1976, Olympic gold medal winning pairs figure skater. Phoebe Snow, 1950 to 2011, singer. Alfonso Soriano, born 1976, outfielder who plays for the New York Yankees. Daryl Strawberry, born 1962, major league baseball outfielder who played for New York Mets, New York Yankees, and Los Angeles Dodgers. Anthony Strollo (1899–1962), New York mobster who served as a high-ranking capo of the Genovese crime family until his disappearance after leaving his home in Fort Lee. Lyle Stewart (1922–2006), independent publisher of controversial books. Justin Tuck, born 1983, former NFL defensive end who played for the New York Giants and Oakland Raiders. James Van Fleet, 1892 to 1992, United States Army general. Chien Ming Wong, born 1980, pitcher for the Washington Nationals. Jennifer Wu, born 1990, table tennis player originally from China who has been named to the US team at the 2016 Summer Olympics. Glenn Zipper, born 1974, writer, film producer and former New Jersey assistant state prosecutor known for the Academy Award winning film Undefeated. See also Fort Lee Lane closure controversy List of tallest buildings in Fort Lee Riviera – nightclub List of U.S. cities with significant Korean-American populations Sources Municipal incorporations of the state of New Jersey according to counties prepared by the Division of Local Government Department of the Treasury New Jersey December 1, 1958 Clayton W Woodford and Nelson William History of Bergen and Passaic Counties New Jersey with biographical sketches of many of its pioneers and prominent men Philadelphia, Everts and Peck, 1882. Harvey, Cornelius Burnham, ed. Genealogical History of Hudson and Bergen Counties, New Jersey. New York, New Jersey Genealogical Publishing Co., 1900. Van Vallen, James M. History of Bergen County, New Jersey. New York, New Jersey Publishing and Engraving Co., 1900.
Westervelt, Francis A. Francis Augusta, 1858–1942, History of Bergen County, New Jersey, 1630–1923, Lewis Historical Publishing Company, 1923.